Oh, hi. William Osman is my name and Crappy Science is my game. Today, we have a very special edition of Crappy Science. Ooh, a gingerbread house. Except, it's more like a gingerbread trailer. And here's the CAD model. I'm not really sure how much this is gonna make. I'm a little worried this isn't enough. Oh my God, I made a mess. Apparently, you're supposed to mix the dry ingredients before the flour. Wait, no, flour is dry. Apparently, you're supposed to mix the other ingredients before adding the flour in. I have failed to read those instructions. So dry, it's like a desert with two S's and with one S. Ah, so creative. Oh, we could use a piece of wood to flatten it. That's not terrible. Oh yeah! Oh, it's hot. One of these sheets came out significantly better than the other one. Here's the first attempt, and this is the second sheet where we mix the sugar and, and butter and stuff first. And it's much firmer, so we'll use this for the more structurally sound pieces of the uh, trailer. But let's put these on the laser and see what happens. I'm gonna cut some paper out to put underneath the uh, cookie so I'm not cutting for the cookie directly on the uh, cutting table. For those unfamiliar with this channel, this is my home-built 80 watt laser cutter of death. It gets really loud sometimes. Well, that just ruined our slab of gingerbread. We had everything set up so that we could cut the exact number of pieces out of this one piece, and I've ruined that because the laser wasn't homed properly. We'll try cutting it again just to see how this works, to see if we're using good laser speeds, and then we'll, we're gonna have to bake another slab of uh, gingerbread tomorrow. Hi, Mom. Uh... Rolling stuff is in here. You might want to know why there is a blue tape on there. Why? When we make cookies in my classroom, I want to make sure that I get my rolling pins back. That's the worst this story I've here. ever heard. After some stiffness problems yesterday, I've put the... <laughs> no. I've put the gingerbread into the refrigerator. Hopefully, that will give it some more rigidity. Even though the bread is thinner on the second batch, I'm gonna slow down just in case, because it's not worth messing this up. What? Whatever. I really don't want to break these. That <laughs> is awesome. All right, let's put these in the refrigerator. The world's thinnest gingerbread cookie. It's also the burnt, grossest tasting gingerbread cookie. Now we need to make some royal icing. Why is it royal? I have no idea. It's like three simple ingredients. Sugar, eggs, and lemon. We only have limes. Actually, way more limes than any ordinary person should have in their kitchen. Oh, oops. Eggs are kind of gross. The best way to get juice out of citrus like this is to threaten it with violence. Bruise it up and then slice it and all the juice pockets will have exploded on the inside. Raise your hand if you plan on eating this gingerbread house a month from now. Cameraman John? Not camera woman Chelsea? All right, hot glue it is. Let's test the fit before the gluing happens. Oh man, hot glue. Look at why do people even bother using frosting? That works so much better. Oh no! Oh no! Oh my god! Ah! Everything's falling apart! I feel like something's not quite lining up right here. Ooh, hot glue does not stick well. Okay. All oh, these pieces are too big. In the model, everything I said was 3 sixteenths of an inch thick. And uh, in real life, it's much thicker. It's like a quarter inch. So we gotta shave down the sides. Ah! The hot glue is too hot! This is starting to turn into a hot glue house. All right, let's reinforce it now with royal icing. Who wants to lick the spoon? Sometimes it's easier to just do it by hand instead of using the laser. So we still need to cut the swamp cooler that fits on top. If you don't know what a swamp cooler is, because it's a funny name, it's that it uses water to humidify the air, which reduces the temperature. I've just remembered that I have no idea how to uh, decorate a gingerbread house. We've put some gumdrops on top and I'm stuck now. So I feel like you can't really mess this up. I don't know what to do next. 
The gingerbread trailer is done, and you know, I'm proud of it in the same sense that you're proud of passing a class with a C minus by the skin of your giblets. I think we hit all the key points though, an old refrigerator, some literal trailer trash, propane tanks, old propane tanks. Uh, we've got some peppermint wheels. We've got a little fireplace with snow in it, which I'm pretty sure is physically impossible, but this is a candy trailer. So uh, a license plate, some brake lights, turn signals, an actual candy cane, which it, I don't think has a real life correlation, but swamp cooler. Uh, yeah, that's it. Um, the hot glue gun worked pretty well for kind of setting things up, but it tend to, tended to peel the top layer of the gingerbread off. Um, yeah, that's it. We'll see you next time. These are not good candies.